You know how to find where you are with data from the navigation radios. There's an easier way. The navigation display map mode shows you where you are and where you will go. The map mode is the normal in-flight navigation display mode. It shows FMC route data over a moving map. FMC calculated position shows at the top of the airplane symbol. As you can see, the map mode and VOR and approach modes have many of the same features. Let's look at the FMC route data that shows on the map. I have put the origin and destination in the FMC. Origin and destination airports show on the map. I have put in the runway. The airport symbol is replaced by a runway symbol. Now I will put in the route. During the pre-flight, the route shows as a dashed cyan line. The route changes to magenta after you activate it. I have made a route modification. A dashed white route line shows. The active waypoint is magenta. Distance from present position to the active waypoint and ETA at the active waypoint show at the top. Other waypoints on the route are white. White circles on the route are conditional waypoints. Conditional waypoints are discussed in another lesson. You can see more or less of the map when you turn the range selector. Change the range to 20 miles. If you want to see part of the route that is behind you, use the center switch. Push it now. Center map shows the same total range as expanded map, but the forward range is one half the expanded distance. VOR and approach modes show heading up at the top. Track shows on one side or the other when there is a crosswind. Map mode is different. It is a track up display. You can tell because track shows at the top. The track line is always vertical. And the current heading pointer shows on one side or the other when there is a crosswind. The wind arrow is pointed based on the current compass reference. In this example, it is pointed based on magnetic track. During turns, the position trend vector predicts airplane ground track. Each segment of the position trend vector shows where you'll be in 30 seconds. The map also shows data about your climb and descent. Green circles show the FMC calculated top of climb, top of descent, and end of descent. During descent, the VNAV path pointer shows where the FMC calculated VNAV path is in relation to the airplane. The VNAV path deviation scale and pointer show up to 400 feet deviation. An altitude range arc shows during climb and descent. The altitude range arc shows where you will reach the altitude set in the MCP, calculated from the current ground speed and vertical speed. The altitude range arc always shows across the track line. It is independent of any FMC calculated climb or descent path.
The map switches let you show more data with the basic FMC route data. Push the map switches. Plan mode shows the FMC route. But plan mode shows the route with true north at the top. Your position shows at the nose of the airplane symbol. And a route waypoint is always at the center. Use plan mode when you put in the route during pre-flight or if you cannot change the map range and see details of the route. Weather radar and TCAS traffic data are not available in plan mode. Let's see how to use the plan mode during pre-flight to review a route. You have put in the route, but it's not active. Show the legs page. Now, change the navigation display to plan mode. When you show the plan mode, the map center label shows which waypoint is at the center of the navigation display. The map center step prompt lets you change the waypoint at the center. Select the map center step prompt until BTG is in the center of the navigation display. To see more of each route segment, change the range. Change the range to 320. Failure flags show if FMC data is not available or if navigation radio data is not available. If track data fails, heading and track display